What is up guys? Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back. Pardon my voice. I've tried to take some time off of filming so that my voice could recover. Apparently to no avail. Today, I thought it would be fun since I just did that declutter. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's try that again. I just did that big declutter. And what it did was remind me of a bunch of stuff that I want to show more love to. And I realized I needed a refresher on everything from, well, a lot of brands, but one of the first ones being Lisa Eldridge. I have almost everything that she has ever put out, not like every color, but with a couple of exceptions, I have at least one of each like product that she's released over the years. And I thought it would be fun to just do a full face, I mean, supplemented with other things, of what I have of Lisa Eldridge and refresh my memory on my feelings on these things because I know that I once had feelings and I just don't remember what they are. But I know that they were good enough or strong enough one way or the other that like in the back of my brain it said, keep, keep, keep whenever I was decluttering. So I'm gonna move y'all in. We're going to just, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, we are subpar today, okay? Wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing in another video because I have no imagination right now. I curled my hair because I just need to feel better. And I just took day cool, so we'll see how that goes. And the thumbnail will make it look like I have everything together, but you and I, we know better, don't we? <laughs> yeah. I left my microphone on all night, or maybe for the last, two days yeah because i don't think i filmed yesterday so let's pray for her battery i need sunscreen so i haven't put any sunscreen on i just got a chemical peel and it honestly like did not do as much as i was hoping that it was going to we're going to use the super goop glow screen today i carried my tool off in my back pocket because i had to put sunscreen on while my child was leading me by the hand yesterday it started to get nice outside and so he just loves being outside and there is really no stopping him when he's ready to go. It's like hard to just get his shoes on on the way out the door. He just wants to go, go, go. So I'm using a different sunscreen than usual. Oh man, but uh, <laughs> about this sweater, it's actually not the same sweater that I was wearing <laughs> in the last video where I was wearing this sweater. I know, follow me here. And that's because it was from Rent the Runway. Rent the Runway is kind of a double-edged sword. On one hand, so much of the stuff is so overworn that like it doesn't fit properly anyway when I get it. And I'm like, okay, like how did, how do you manage to stretch a neckline out that much? It, it doesn't look like its former self, like in so many of these garments. But I got this in the mail. This is a Boss Hugo Boss everything's on sale. Like anytime you get something on Rent the Runway, it's pretty much been circulating in the market for a while. So if you can find it, it'll be on super sale. So this is like more than half off. And um, the one that I got was a size small, which is what they recommended. And I was like, oh uh, no, I'm far too constricted. <laughs> so I sized up and I bought it. So that's what tends to happen. That's happened to me twice now, where if I like it, I end up going and finding it elsewhere and buying it because there is this kind of in bad shape or I end up with an item that I don't want to wear anyway because it's so overworn. So I'm not sure that I can really like so far with my experience recommend Rent the Runway because it's so far costing me more money and not really serving its purpose. So there we have some glow screen. Again, the chemical peel that I just did, it pushed some things out. It evicted them from my face and then I said, okay. Well, I will help. And I probably wasn't supposed to do that, especially right before I got on camera, but yet again, here we are. All right, I have the Lisa Aldridge Seamless Skin Foundation in the bag. I'm sorry if there are children watching, in the little rocket shape. It, it's glass, it sits on its side, which bothers a lot of Virgos. I personally think it's lovely. And the foundation itself is so wonderful. I have the shade three. It seems to work quite nicely for me. It's got a very, very pleasant level of coverage and blurring without completely blanking my features out. It's got a really nice finish on it that's luminous without being really, really dewy. And it wears a while. It's very lightweight too. 
I really have found a way to appreciate most things that she has put out that I've gotten in my hands, but this is the one that just was the star of the show. It's such like main character energy for my collection. You know how when you're really congested, you hear your voice inside your own head more than you like hear, your, you know what I mean? More than you hear it out. <laughs> Does that make sense? It feels like it's like existing only inside of my sinuses right now and that my voice is like echoing inside my head. Like, am I screaming? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Am I screaming? I'm sorry. I'm all, my voice is also just so low right now. What do you want? Oh, oh, it was a picture of my, of my child. Let's see. Oh, he's shaking a toy. Today is St. Patrick's Day and I have him dressed in a green shirt and a green bib. He's color blocked. He is so stinking cute, my little baby leprechaun, but we are going to turn the sound off because that was annoying. Oh, he finally got to go back to daycare today, which is fantastic. Yesterday was hectic as heck, you know? So she does, I'm gonna turn this up. I know it's not gonna help for the moment. Whoa, that's like really bright. It might not help for you guys ability to see what I'm doing, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, speaking of that, thank you to all the people who responded with their experience and their advice about LASIK. In my last video, I was like, bro, I am tired of wearing glasses. Should I just get LASIK? And so many of you guys were like, yes, do it. Like, obviously find the right doctor, obviously look into the possible side effects X, Y, and Z, and also other like more up-to-date technology possibly outside of LASIK, but I really appreciated all of you guys' thoughts. I did, I did, I did, so thank you. I'm really, I'm considering it. So there is the coverage level. Now you can see, since I have some indiscretions here, you can actually see the coverage level. And like, while obviously it doesn't match my ears super perfectly, I, what are, what are you? I must have hurt myself. Yeah, I did. I like must have reached up and scratched that and hurt myself. Cut a little 4K. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, this is one of those shades that kind of matches the general <laughs> melange of my skin that happens when you sort of squint your eyes and you see my natural skin blending with the color of my freckles, you know? Because if I try and match the skin between my freckles, it's so ghostly. I don't think I have freckles on my ears. We've really spent a long time on this. <laughs> if you're watching this right now and you're like, Khaki, you know, you should rest. I already have. <laughs> it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I got Simon to daycare this morning with all of his accoutrement. I let the people who are working on our basement in. I consulted with them and everything and by about nine, I was back in bed. <laughs> I drank my smoothie, I went back to sleep, and I slept until about 11.30, and then it is taking that long for me to summon the life force to do something with myself, but if I didn't, I honestly, I don't know what I was gonna do. It was this or like let depression take over, so here we are. Here we are, family. I think it's kind of, funny, you know, funny in the things that I laugh at, funny in the things that I think are funny, that back when I first started YouTube, back in like 2018, if you talked openly about depression, people were like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Or they'd be like, oh, I relate, but you know, you're gonna get through it. <laughs> now everybody just kind of understands it as like a state of existence. Everybody's just like, yep. <laughs> Other than that, how are you? Kind of thing, you know? Uh, the contextualization. I also did go for the lip flip, guys. I mean, my um, my Botox hasn't fully kicked in yet. I got it a couple days ago. I, I'm sorry, it's so bright. I promise I'll kind of turn it down intermittently, but like, I can't see. Uh, but it might be over the course of like the next few days you start to see my lip just go no. I don't know, I only got one unit put in each side. I get it, I mean, you have to get it done by a doctor here, but at the same time, like, I still feel like she's extremely, uh, what's the word, conservative about how much she uses. She always, she loves to tell me, she's like, you're young, you don't need, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> thank you, I'm like, still, can you do a little more? <laughs> My 11s are still a one and I need them to be a zero. <laughs> this is the Item Beauty Concealer because Miss Lisa Aldridge does not as of yet have a concealer. I should look at her website at some point in this video and make sure that she's not like releasing something else like while 
I wasn't looking. I, I, I feel like I only have about a quarter of a brain right now. And even that, you know, some of the breakers are thrown and I'm just like, oh yeah, bleh. So there could be something in my collection that is by her that I missed. Like I have her Muse lip gloss here, but I forgot for a second that I actually, I'm not even sure that I've ever, maybe like one video I've used Velvet Fawn in, the actual, like her first release, the Velvet Lipsticks. Girl, what are the other concealers doing? Because if it was easy, no offense, I don't know anything about Madison Beer, Adeline uh, Bonkersnot. What is her freaking name? Addison Ray. I don't know anything about her. Obviously she knows something about what she likes in makeup, but like if it was that easy to just make an $18 clean beauty concealer that does everything that I wanted to do in a great shade range, then what the heck have we been doing this whole time? <laughs> Bam! Cause this is just, it's the easiest concealer. It's so easy. It makes me look so pretty. <laughs> Let's turn the light down for you guys here. Wow. 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 On a scale of one, two, delete your account. How mad would you guys get if I like halfway through the video shoved tissue up my nose and just functioned like that? Because, oh my God. And also, my husband bought one ply toilet paper, electric chair. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who does that willingly? Like I get it if that's all that's there or that's what, you know, your budget constrains you to, but like he thought he was like, he's like, I spent $60 getting a bargain on some toilet paper. And I was like, what is it? And he's like, Scott, Scott paper towels. I was like, all right, Dwight Schrute, Mr. Half Ply disintegrates when you look at it. I'm gonna do cream contour. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently, I'm gonna do cream contour here. This is the Westman Atelier. Oh, I just dropped the lid on the floor and that was what I found so hilarious. And while I do this, I'm gonna look at her website. She has the Vel True Velvet Lip Color, Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss, the foundation and liquid Lorex eyeshadow on the website right now. And I do know that she has a highlighter as well that I don't have. I think that that is the one thing of hers that I skipped. Um, you. I also couldn't film yesterday because they're putting wainscoting on the wall in the basement, or I mean, they did all day yesterday. And like the place that they're working is right underneath this window. And so I was like, anytime I was like, maybe I'll sit down and film. It was like table saw <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, it's just not meant to be. Plus I just like, oh my God, can you not? That is not what I need right now. Tiny, tiny cat hair is just not the vibe. Okay, stop it, stop. I'm not having it, not today. Not on Rex Manning day. By the way, I still don't know like what specifically is wrong with me. I don't know whether it's allergies or a cold. I think it's a little bit of both because I'm just trying to collect my, you know, my nature badges or something here in New Jersey. But yesterday my mother-in-law was like, well, if you still feel bad tomorrow, you should go to the doctor. And I'm like, why? <laughs> what are they gonna do? And she's like, maybe something for your allergies. And I was like, I'm on an over-the-counter, a prescription, and a nasal spray. <laughs> what are they going to do for me? <laughs> and she's like, oh. <laughs> I think she's used to her son who just never goes to the doctor and just complains. <laughs> All right, I do have the Seamless Skin Blush, and I have it in, here we go, Pink Poetry and Pink Soapetry. They sound like they're having a lot of fun down there. I want to go have fun. What in the, oh, it looks poorly blended because I, I picked my blemishes. So yeah, we're starting with pink soap and it comes in this funky container. This is a funky formula actually. It's very silicone-y. So it's like a cream that's very matte, if I recall correctly. And I think I really like it. If I recall correctly, I think I really like it. Where's my daggum brush? Okay, this is the 101 from uh, Miss BK. And I'm gonna just boogada boogada. Nice, nice pinky pink. Apparently they're sanding now. Oh yeah, 
I love this. This is so pretty. The main complaint that I had about this was just that these shades, for her not having to be really under, as far as I know, like any large retailer's thumb on picking shades that were going to sell really, really well. The way that a lot of them at Sephora are like the exact same color for, as each other, you know? like And still her blushes, it's taking me a really long time to get around to this point. Her blushes were very like straight down the middle of like typical in terms of the shades. I feel like he's actually grinding that sander against the inside of my brain currently. Okay, so that is the way that I would recommend using that is, you know, plopping it out spreading it out on a brush and applying it. I wouldn't obviously like <laughs> go right on your face with your fingers or something. Or I guess you could do that, but like I wouldn't, I don't know what my other options would be there. I think sometimes though, I tend to reach for things that I don't have to squirt out. Like if it's in a pan, I'm more likely to reach for it. That's stupid, but it is what it is, you know? Talk about knowing yourself. Okay, so that was like, I did contour and then I did blush. I didn't do any kind of bronzer, but we're gonna go with pink poetry and see if I like it. I'm wearing red, which I never do. And we'll see if this clashes with it. I'm scared if I keep squeezing that it's going to explode. Bobby pin? Bobby pin, are you the answer? Oh, 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 something's moving. Aha! I also appreciated the context that you guys provided for me on um, my Tower 28. <laughs> Lip glosses, I was like, are these really, really orange? And you guys were like, yeah, they actually go off pretty quickly. And uh, that was a little disappointing for me. I also realized that one of the milky ones that they sent that was like a special edition for Christmas was also part of their like nut milk collection, which is called, yikes, that is not working, is it? It's called chestnut. Boy, it was the wrong shade for me. Kind of like this is the wrong shade for me. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought something hot pink. It never works anyway. It makes me look like I have a fever. So, oh my God, that's not good at all, is it guys? We will work on that in a minute, but I'm gonna go on my eyes next. Yeah, I'm like rattling inside my own head. Am I screaming? <laughs> We're gonna go with the Hindash palette to lay the groundwork here for what's gonna happen on my eyeballs because her liquid Lorex is the only eyeshadow option. And I say that like it's so limiting. It's not, they're gorgeous, but I want matte and then I'll work with glitter on top of that. It seems to make sense when it's rattling it around inside of my head, you know? So we're gonna do this kind of quick and dirty. We're going to make a decision. I really wanna use Diana, but like, I don't think that that's, I mean, I'm already going pink against red. Do I really wanna go orange against red, like copper? I knew this was gonna happen too. I don't wanna use a really, really typical one. I think we're gonna go Lauren. Just like make this gold the star of the show. Yeah. And then I can pull everything else back from the brink that's on my cheeks. We might even use some of this on my cheeks. Pull it back down to earth. Right now I'm waiting for my cheeks to eat it a little bit. <laughs> and or for my eyes to adjust a little. So boo 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 boo. Smash smash smash. Smash smash smash. Smashy smash smash. Just smash it on in there. Smash smash smash. Meow. Hinda smash. I'm sure he wasn't expecting me to say that. Speaking of things that no one expected, anybody see State of Kate's unhinged song? She said it was unhinged. I mean, I think it was kind of, but it was also extremely well executed. She was uh, adapting the lyrics to a Hilary Duff song from the Lizzie McGuire movie to plead to Jason of phytosurgeons to release a certain shade of blush that he's been teasing. And, oh man, it was what I needed last night. It gave me life. And then I'm gonna go with a smaller brush here and I'm going in with like Heartthrob. Kind of, you know, something like that. Kinda, kinda. The reason hot pink doesn't work on me is because everything turns pink on me. I'm not using the pink right now. I'm using the kind of <laughs> calamine lotion color and it still wants to turn pink on me. And so when you put pink on me, it turns so pink, it offends your eyes. So what did we say we were gonna do? Lauren. This is not gonna go well. I already feel like this is not gonna be the color that I wanna use, but we're doing it, I don't care. Here we go. Ready, go, ready, go. I 
I'm not mad about that. It looks so good on brown eyes, holy moly. Okay, we're just gonna keep going out like this a little. Yep, this is gonna be one of those things where I keep kind of reaching for what's around me and instead of having uh, adhered to the plan, I just kind of pile things on. And that's actually how I usually function in my everyday life when I'm off camera. It just makes for a very obnoxious video to edit, but man, you guys might just see my process here. I'm taking a teeny tiny little brush here, same, same one that I was just using. I'm gonna kind of blend those edges. And this gives me an opportunity to amend my initial review. So it wasn't that I said that I didn't like these, I was just like, you know what? These are dupable. These are not the most off the beaten path shades I've ever seen and this, you know, formula can't be that hard to formulate. And then I tried so many bad versions of companies trying to formulate this formula. And I realized, no, Liquid Lorex from Lisa Eldridge is special. She deserves a lot more accolades than I was willing to give her initially. Like I didn't say it was bad. I just said it was like not that uncommon. It's pretty uncommon actually. All right, I'm taking some of that on that same brush and I'm going under my eyes here. Ew. And it's wet for a minute. And I'm applying a lot because I want to get like the wet look of it. And then I'm not really blending it that much. I really want it to dry all the way down like that. And then I'm gonna work around that with other things. Woo, I'm good at this today. I started using this. This is from the Olivia Palermo Soiree palette, which my my kid loves to play with because it's really, really heavy. It feels, he's a Libra and he's just like, it's gold. It's heavy, it must be expensive. And he's right. I'm gonna use this gorgeous kind of goldy copper color and work that right around this. And it's gonna be very graphic at first. This is such a lovely formula. I would I would definitely buy an entire palette of just that formula. The rest of them are, I mean, they're fine, they're good, but like, I wish that I could just have only that formula in a bunch of different colors. Cause it's really pretty, but it's also really thin. It's very, very lightweight. And it's like, I can just draw with it. That didn't, that's not the same shape at all, Khaki. I feel bad when I go into another, like, you know what I mean? I use like 15 palettes, like that's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna stay in this palette. I'm gonna go in with the like matte tan and kinda, was that a good idea? Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna do do a gaba da da. I actually don't know if I like that. And then I'm gonna go back into my hand dash palette because it's like when my kid hears a loud sound and he gets scared and he runs to me. It's like, I need to go back to safety. There we go. Oh, Lisa, that gold is just excellent, isn't it? Maybe we'll use a little bit of boy tears too. Boy tears, boy tears. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, let's figure out what's happening on my face right now. I think that we need to bring it all down to earth with some Mimi, okay. Ooh, better yet, better yet, better yet. Coco, ponch, 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 gigantic brush. And I also am going to use some sneaky balm here and to be very sneaky. You know what? I think we need powder on my cheeks because this is getting off the rails pretty quick. I'm gonna go with the Wayne Goss blushes. The Desert Blossom, yeah. Yep, that's gonna pull this back on the rails where it belongs. So if, if you're just tuning in, where it went off the rails was when I tried to put too much pink poetry on. It was not pink poetry, not on me. If you can wear hot pink, you can wear hot pink. I can't really wear hot pink. Let's do my brows real quick. I'm not going to talk. I always say that and then I end up talking and then it's a pain to edit and I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just going to do my brows.
Okay, so, <laughs> aside from the editorial cat hairs on my face, I think this is actually going fairly well. I mean, you know, it's pretty typical of me in terms of like, not the most blended eye look, but that's fine. We're gonna go with some Velvet Fawn on my lips and that will be kind of our finishing touch here, I think. I'm going to go with my khaki lip liner here. <laughs> so the initial like, appeal right of her lipsticks she was one of the first ones to do this really cool looking like velvet finish on the outside of the actual bullet i mean obviously it goes away but it's still neat it's a lightweight matte that i did not do a very good job putting on evenly it's like silicone so it gives you a nice kind of blurred edge not as lightweight as hin dashes, or maybe just like not as easy to control as hin dashes. Like I felt like I could just slap that on, but I do like how kind of like softly it blurs into the rest of my lips. I got a little happy with the boy tears, so to speak. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna move you guys out and uh, give you some, some final thoughts here. All right, um, hmm, how do we feel? How do we feel? How do we feel? It's a little orange on the eyes for like what I thought I was going for. You know, I went for the gold instead of the copper because I wanted to get away from the orange of it all. Are you just stuck to my face? Like, what is that? No, it's just like the striation that I feel like is being created by my blemishes. That's a lot of fun. Whatever, dude. What if we went with Muse and added something a little bit glossy to this because I feel like the lips are kind of like losing it for me. I like that she doesn't have a scent to her stuff too. Is that a little bit better? And this is where I start just kind of like following my instincts. It's funny how you have ideas of how something's going to turn out based on the colors that you want to use, but then you still have to kind of finesse it because it's art. <laughs> At the end, you're just like, that oh, didn't come out exactly like I thought that it was going to. So I'm gonna use a little bit of velvet fawn without like disturbing the bullet too much here. I'm gonna like tap that on my cheeks. Try and get a little bit of like brown happening because it's so matte. It works really nicely as like a cream. I don't know if that really made much difference, but I do feel like there is a through line of this kind of like tawny rose that goes through her entire collection and can be had in just about every formula. Velvet Fawn, Muse, probably a blush. That looks like that, I'm not sure, but I would say like Angelica is right there in that color family. In fact, maybe we put just a little bit of Angelica on the top. This is the one that I said was like the least dupable. The least dupable, the most dupable is what I meant. And just, nah, that wasn't enough. They do start to kind of bunch up if you do that, <laughs> but not as much as other formulas that I found. Like they don't patch off, so that's a little better. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like, if I'm kind of going for this whole tonal family that exists in her collection, that gold was just sticking out. Well, good to know that it is accommodating to one changing her mind in the middle of doing her makeup or maybe even at the very end because I feel like that didn't go as poorly as it could have, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so guys, while this isn't maybe the best makeup look in the world in total, I do have, you know, generally positive thoughts having to do with each of these products. So her foundation is still one of my favorite things in the whole world. Why is my hair like this? Stop that. It's so pretty, it's so easy, and it's one of those things where I look at myself at the end of the day and I go, what did I put on this morning? Because it was a winner, it was great, you know? And then I think back and it was almost always this. <laughs> like this is just, uh, it wears so beautifully and it like always positively surprises me when I wear it. I'm always like, it's even better than I remember it. And it should be because it's $61, so I'm glad. And the liquid Lorex, 
Again, it's just one of those formulas where it's like, oh, that was so easy. It must be so easy to formulate something like this. Like, absolutely not. Like, all of the work went in on the front end of this, and we just get to reap the benefits. There, it's just, it's a fantastic formula. You guys saw the very end, I just got to, like, change my mind and decide I wanted to do a different color of the liquid Lorax, and I just went right on top of it. Yeah, like, it's not going to infinitely do that, but it also is a much less finicky product to work with than so many liquid eyeshadow that come in this delivery system. She did a phenomenal job formulating this and I love it. Now, if you're new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you're watching and you're just like, wow, um, I feel like she just kind of dogged on those lip colors. Please understand that lip colors are probably my least I would say that like my least favorite thing in the world is liquid eyeliner and then right above that is like a bold lip. And so this being even close to a winner for me, that's huge. <laughs> The fact that I'm keeping it on is huge because that means that she managed to dial in the shades well enough that I feel comfortable wearing it even in like a thumbnail or something. And also that the formulas were like unfussy enough that I was able to get them on in a reasonable amount of time without completely frustrating myself. So I will say her lip glosses are extremely pigmented. So, you know, I didn't really show the full experience of putting one of these on and some of them are more pigmented than others that's why I have decluttered a few of the other ones is because I didn't know that when I bought them Muse is very much like a more universally applicable formula because it's a little less pigmented but some of them are so pigmented that they're clearly just meant for someone with deeper skin than I have <laughs> like that's a beautiful thing and then her original lipstick formula I think these colors are gorgeous that she did it in and obviously like it still has stood the test of time in terms of a really impressive formula obviously all the components are gorgeous like she interacts with so much makeup in her everyday life that like she knew exactly what she wanted to do and she nailed it everything does feel really luxurious it fits right in next to you know other things in my collection that are very luxurious looking. <laughs> they don't all happen to be gold, but I do like gold. I really can't say enough about for what she sets out to do, like how, how she does a good job of accomplishing it. You know, I think that she knows what she likes. She sets forth very, very accurate expectations. She does tutorials around her products. And as it pertains to being an influencer who is a makeup artist, you know, and kind of merging those two things within her brand, she does an excellent job of it. It's a lot like Hindash to me, where, you know, they're going to provide the education around how to understand their products and get the best use out of them. So she does a really, really good job on that. The one regret that I have is just that I got the shade Pink Poetry. And I think that like I have uh, maybe hindsight being 2020, I didn't have as much of an understanding maybe of my undertones when I went shopping for this particular release because I got the rose pink and I probably should have gone for like a more cool toned berry color if she had it on hand or like a nude, something beigey, um, rather than this hot pink. Like I need to declutter this hot pink not because it's a bad formula but because someone else would get use out of it. <laughs> like it just, uh, this is not a color that I ever wear because it looks really, really unnatural on me. And that's not her fault. I just don't look good in hot pink. It's just a thing. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm glad that I kind of refreshed my memory. And this is sort of like a very um, elaborate shot my stash, right? It was just me going in on one brand, but I wanted to because it's like when I don't see stuff for a while, I literally forget that it exists. So maybe we'll do some more videos like this now that I've done this declutter, revisiting some things that I know I love, but I've kind of forgotten why. <laughs> and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.